Alright guys, Luke from the Real Chat with Amigos here. Got a special, special announcement to make. Myself and Tom from Tom Outdoors are doing a 20 mile walk around Chelmsford. So it's called the Chelmsford Centenary Walk. We're not just doing it for the fun of it as we normally do, we're actually going to be raising some money uh, for a charity called Chess based in Chelmsford. Now, Chess are a homeless charity, so they actually help people that are on the streets get find their feet. They've got rooms there so uh, people can stay there, help them find jobs um, and sort of pop them back into society and um, go off away from the streets. So it's a really, really good charity. Um, and Tom had the idea to raise some money for them, which is brilliant. Uh, we thought that, you know, we do a lot of wild camping, sleeping in tents, sleeping in uh, sleeping bags, which is a lot of what homeless people do. So we thought raising money for a charity where people are doing that, we thought that was a brilliant idea. So we are planning to do the walk on, I think it's the 25th of September. Um, it's about 20 miles and it basically just circles the outside of Chelmsford. It, loads of footpaths, it goes through a bit of history. Um, of course we're going to film it the whole way, show you guys what we're up to. Um, we are raising money like I say, so if you can donate, it would be most appreciated. Um, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to the, uh, like the donation page below. Uh, it's on just giving. Uh, I've set a target of thousand pounds. I'm not quite sure what Tom's set a target of. Um, whether or not we get what we want, who knows? But every little helps. It's all going to go to the charity anyway, and they can buy food for people that are hungry, uh, buy some equipment for maybe people that aren't quite into the shelter yet. Um, and then also buy things to help people get into back out on the uh, back out into their new homes and things like that. Um, so I'm actually talking to you from the world's largest car park, which is the M25. I've just been stuck in five miles of traffic, and I'm on my way to the Brentwood Centre. Win, but next door there is Phoenix FM. So it's the um, local radio station don't know if you can hear me very well I'm in a tunnel now um, so it's a local radio station for Essex um, and we've been invited to talk about our walk <laughs> got a bloody lorry next to me now it's well loud I can't see anything um, any stop art whoop whoop um, so yeah if you can well, I'm going to put this out after we've been on the radio. So if you want to want to hear more about what we're doing and why we're doing it, then you can uh, play back Phoenix FM, uh, listen to our radio interview uh, with the DJ called Patrick. It's quite exciting for both of us. I, I don't know if Tom's ever been on the radio. I've I've only been on the radio once by phoning up, but never actually in the studio. <coughs> Excuse me. So quite exciting um, we love your support we love you guys to sort of follow along with what we're doing follow us on both our Instagrams uh, Facebook pages and obviously YouTube if you haven't subscribed to us please please do we're doing this for a worthy worthy cause um, but I'm gonna if I'm allowed to record in the in the radio studio then I'm gonna add on to the end of this um, some footage of us actually been interviewed live on air so um, if not then um, just follow along with us see how we're doing so yeah thank you um, and here's some here's some footage from the radio centre see you in a bit one of our guests here today is just telling me about the m25 how was the m25 when you were coming in it was absolutely diabolical just right. it was about five miles of traffic stop start which so, direction you're coming from uh coming from kent into essex oh okay that's uh, that's often the uh, the nightmare on a friday afternoon it is yeah 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 absolutely so if you guys would like to introduce yourself uh so my name's luke and my name is Tom. Okay, and uh, Luke and Tom, uh, you're here uh, for a particular reason here this, this afternoon. What would that be? 
Uh, so myself and Tom, we are raising some money for Chess Homeless Charity uh, based in Chelmsford. Um, and to raise the money, we will be doing a 20-mile walk around Chelmsford called the Chelmsford Centenary, Centenary walk. walk. Right, so, the, so a 20-mile walk. And, and uh, what, what sort of like is the start time for that? Or can you choose to do this whenever you want to do it? Um, so basically, the date for the walk is going to be September the 25th on a Saturday. We're going to try and get to like Chess Homeless Shelter in Chelmsford for about 7 a.m., Ooh. And walk from there out to sort of, I think probably like Highlands Park, where you can pick up the centenary walk, do the walk, try and do it in sort of eight to 12 hours. We're going to be filming as well for our YouTube channels. So that sort of takes a bit of time as well. And then we're going to head back to the shelter at Chess. Okay. Well. So so in this 20 miles, where, where does it actually go round? So it goes around the whole of the city of Chelmsford, sort of the outskirts yep. of it. So through places like, as I say, Highlands Park, Galleywood, Springfield, those sort of places. Okay. Right. Um, and uh, oh, why Chess? Why, why, why do you want to support Chess? Um, so basically, it was kind of like my idea sort of, I've sort of had the idea for a few months now and because we both have outdoor channels like that focus on like walking, camping, like like sort of wild camping, just sort of sleeping out in all different places. I kind of sort of saw a parallel between, you know, us sleeping outside and like homeless people sleeping rough, except that we have a choice. So I think yeah. we have that privilege of, you know, we go out to it as a hobby as opposed to you know less fortunate people that are, are sleeping rough and it just sort of felt right to sort of do some charity work for a homeless charity as opposed to sort of any other charity really right and that would be the case with you yeah same thing um we we both we like like tom said we both sleep sort of wild or as as a homeless person would but Obviously, like he said, we've got the choice, but these people don't have a choice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, raising money for that charity is, I suppose, it's come quite close to our hearts now, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, so um, if people wanted to support you, say, let's do that first, is, is, and they wanted to raise money um, and sponsoring you guys, how do they go about doing this? So we've both set up a Just Giving page, yeah. um, both, both individual ones. Uh, I've got a £1,000 target on there. Um, the you search my name on just giving it, it comes up. I think Tom's is the same. Yeah, isn't it? I think basically what you do is it's uh, www.justgiving.com slash fundraising slash and then mine's Tom Outdoors Chess Homeless. So and I'm mine's T R T A Luke Chess Homeless. Okay, quite a big one. <laughs> yeah. uh, absolutely. Um, but so, is this something that, if anybody's listening now and they felt, yeah, I could do that. That's an interesting charity to to support, and also I'd like to take part in this. Uh, how do they go about that? Um, you can go on the the Chess Homeless website. I think it's www.chesshomeless.org, and they've got all kinds of different things like fundraising events. They've got one actually on the fifteenth of October called the Big Sleep Out. It's basically like uh, like a like a group wild camp, really. I think it's in the grounds of Felsted School, and you can you know bring a tent or a bivy or whatever, or you can really rough it with some newspaper and a bit of cardboard and sleep out. Hmm. But basically, kind of as I say, like sort of replicating what homeless people have to go through is sleeping outside. So a lot of people, that's you know it's really alien to them and me, so. me and tom are doing that event as well we are gonna, we are we're going to be camping there and we're raising yeah. money for that as well aren't we through we are. our instagram pages as well good for you and, and do you think that there's been kind of like an increase in the numbers of homeless people that are around i, I don't know the facts and figures on it but i'm going to assume after after what happened last year there's a lot of people being kicked out on the street yeah. um it's i mean we're getting into winter soon as well so it's going to be a lot harder for people um, like I say, if you, I mean, if you even if you go into London, there's there's people on every street near enough, isn't there? Yeah, there's, pretty much any big city you go to, you know, you're bound to see homeless people at some point. And I think I say, yeah, it's probably increased, but for sure, things like drug use and drug abuse has increased with homelessness. Definitely, it's sort of one of those things. It started off, 
you know, you were just homeless. And then, you know, you see a lot more drug addiction and alcohol addiction as well involved in as it. As a result so, of it. Cause you as got, a result you got to remember, of it, yeah. a lot of these people aren't just homeless because of their lifestyle. They've, you know, people have split up with partners and then been forced to be put mm. on the street or, or lost their job and can't afford rent or anything like that. So it's not, it's not necessarily people that you think are just a bad person that it's there's different circumstances yeah. for different people. It, it can happen to anyone i mean yeah we're all kind of like one pay slip away from being homeless it could happen to any of us so um it's not just a certain group of society or anything like that it's literally it's a universal problem that could affect all of us sure uh, well uh, I, you know, we've had people from um chess uh, come and chat with me before and i'm very personally support this tra charity as being really important mm -hmm. so thanks for that as well i hope it all goes well so tell us a little bit about your youtube channels then let's hear a bit about like that shall we so my youtube channel is called tom outdoors uh, i'm currently on about eight thousand two hundred and fifty something like that wow i've been doing that for a few years now probably maybe five six years something like that luke do you want to yeah and then yours? my my channel is called the real traveling amigos um and i basically met tom through the channel yeah um tom was doing the north downs way and got to a point where he couldn't he needed someone to have a car at either end sort of thing and i, I live local to where yeah. he was going to be walking from so i reached out to him and said look i want to do the walk with you and then I've, I've been sort of building my channel up, filming with Tom, doing my own camps, doing my own walks as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, my channel's not as big as Tom's. I've got about 308 people, I think, but it's it's slowly getting there. Yeah. Um, but it's it, people like watching what we do, and we like doing what we do, so it gives us motivation yeah. to keep doing what we're doing. And I think for some people as well, people that maybe can't get out and go for walks and stuff like that, they kind of live through our videos sort of thing they get to see these places that we go to and the things we explore through our videos and that's that's a, lot, a really cool there's thing there's a lot of history as well that we we try and sort of learn a little bit ourselves and then sort of give it a dialogue on the on the channel yeah as well. like history of like the places we visit you know you're not just seeing trees and you know far-reaching views and stuff it's you learn about like the local history of, of the place as well Wow, sounds uh, sounds really fascinating and uh, really good. Uh, thank you for doing that. That sounds really interesting. Well, we've got a track that you've chosen for us today, uh, as we were saying off air. The cliche track, track of course, but <laughs> why not? Um, the Proclaimers. Um, uh, well, well, tell us why we've got this and what it's called. It was Tom's idea. So it's the, <laughs> it's the, Blame Tom. Um, it's the Proclaimers' famous song, uh, 500 Miles.' 